you do not accept the existence of, of a God, a divine prime mover. Eh? No. Now, the reason you don't is because you can't prove that there, that such a entity or being or energy exists. I can't, or I, nor can anyone else. Uh, there is no proof. There is no proof that there is no, that there, so therefore you've concluded that there isn't one. That's right. Um, you can't prove there isn't. You, you are never called upon to prove a negative. That's right. a law of logic. All right. Why can't we have you, why can't we have you say, Mr. Donahue, <laughs> I can't prove there's a God, so I just have to take a pass on that one. No comment. I don't know. Why don't you say I don't know rather than I'm sure there isn't? Because you can't accept, even as a hypothesis, something for which there is no evidence. I couldn't oh, I say... Think I think there's circumstantial evidence. There isn't any. Oh, this is pretty, I mean, this is pretty impressive, huh? It's magnificent. It's no, I mean the universe. Built by man. The universe. You've got to be impressed with the universe. When you see order in the universe, this wasn't an accident, Miss Rand. Oh, now you've got to give me a few minutes. <laughs> what do you think would happen in a disorderly universe? In a disorderly universe. What's the concept of order? What does it have to do with the things which exist? If they clashed with each other, if there were contradictions, they wouldn't exist. There is no such thing as a disorderly universe. Our whole concept of order comes from observing reality. And reality has to be orderly because it's the standard of what exists. Right. So the, the contradictions cannot exist. Okay. So we have an orderly universe because it's impossible to have a disorderly universe. That's I got right. that. I understood that. Fine. You understand what a breakthrough that is that I understood? That. <laughs> oh. All right. Now, ex having accepted that, okay, having accepted that, I still don't understand why you just, why can't you just leave the door open? Why do you have to be so unforgiving and so final and so, don't talk to me about it, you can't prove it, and anybody who goes around believing it is wasting time. Okay, we'll get out there and give you that chance I, in a moment. Uh, he's quite right. Yeah, he thinks God can be proved. But That's right, and shouldn't be. Okay, yes. But the real issue here, as far as man is concerned, is that when you accept, Right. Such an important issue as the creation of the universe, yes. on faith, you're destroying your confidence and the validity of your own mind. It has to be either reason or faith. I am against God for the reason that I don't want to destroy reason. I don't... Give us a chance, all right? We appreciate your zeal, but if you continue that, it's going to make it difficult for the other people to absorb oh, what, what's going on here. He okay? says, how can I be against God? I'm against those who conceived that idea. Yeah, tell and us why. Tell us why. Because then it gives man permission to function irrationally, to accept something above and outside the power of their reason and superior to reason. And what's so bad about that? Why can't I be a reasonable philosopher walking around wondering what it's all about, struggling, striving, trying to understand, enjoying the quest and the journey, and, and then in the last, the last little part of my consciousness I say, I know you're there somewhere. I don't understand why you did it this way, but I certainly can't wait to die and find out. Because that... Tell me, you know, it's, I'm not grandstanding. Do you understand that? Are you? I'm not trying to be cute now. I'm, I'm honestly trying to understand, and I know that it's easy to step on person of your controversial view and wave a flag. And I don't want to do that. No, but do you appreciate the question? Do you understand? Why are, why are those two things not possible? Yes, you, you uh, said it, I think, unintentionally. I, you said, so I can't wait to die and find out that I am serious is one of the results of acting on faith. You can't wait to get out of this life. And, 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 the, and there, what's wrong with that? Because this life is wonderful, as you said. Because if you look at the universe, it's wonderful. And you have to use your life to the best of your understanding. If you go by emotions, not reason, it means you're going against reality. Something exists, something is right, and you say, no, I don't like it because I want to believe something else. You, in effect, go by emotions, by your whims, not by reason. And religion or the God concept or faith or worship <clears throat> has people, 
has people thinking of life as a veil of tears through which you That's will right. probably not get without falling. You are essentially an evil person who is bent toward... Well, most religions do preach just that. And you don't believe that? God, no.